the largest known prime number has just been discovered and here it is. 2 to the power 136,279,841 minus 1. This is the biggest prime number that we currently know of and I'm going to give you just a second to think about how many digits are in this number. Did you guess correctly? It's over 41 million digits long. To put that into perspective, that's more than your heart beats in an entire year. So if at the start of the year, you said a digit for every time your heart beats, by the time the end of the year came, you still wouldn't have said all of the digits in this new prime number. That's how big it is. The number itself was discovered by Luke Durand and it was first thought to have been prime on the 11th of October 2024. Now this was due to a data centre in Dublin, Ireland and I'll get onto a little bit more about that later. So it was first thought to have been prime on the 11th of October. The very next day in a data centre in San Antonio, Texas, the number was actually proven to be prime using the Lucas Lema test, which I'll get onto in just a moment. But it wasn't until the 21st of October that this new prime number, the largest known prime number, was publicly released to us. And there's been quite a lot of interest on this and quite a lot of media. I know I did a LinkedIn post which got over a thousand likes, which is very rare for myself on LinkedIn. So yeah, people were very excited about this, myself included. You might be wondering what was the previous record holder for the largest prime number. Now this was actually discovered in 2018, so that was six years ago, and it was about 24 million digits long. So the previous record holder had 24 million digits. Fast forward to today when we have a new record breaker for the largest known prime number, which is 41 million digits. So there's quite a big jump there. This is actually the longest time duration between findings at six years long. So it took an extra six years for us to find this new prime number, but how was it actually discovered? The number itself was found, like with most of the previous largest prime numbers, by the great internet Mazen Prime Search. Now, this itself is a collaborative project of volunteers who are using freely available software to search for Mazen Primes. Now, the eagle-eyed amongst you might have recognized that this is indeed a Mazen Prime. Now, the definition for a Mazen Prime is two to the power n minus one. And as we can see, that is what this new prime number is in the format of. And so this great Mazen Prime Search basically is using, it's a group of volunteers essentially, Luke Durant being one of them, who are using compute powers to try and find new Mazen primes. Now the reason for that is Mazen primes are typically much easier to find than other primes and so that's why we have this project. So I mentioned that in San Antonio, Texas, they use what is known as the Lucas Lema test to prove that this number was indeed prime. But what is this test? So basically you start with the number four, then you want to square that number and subtract two, and whatever prime power is in your Mersenne prime, you find the position two before that in the sequence, and if it equals zero mod the full value of the actual prime, then you know it's prime. Now, that might seem a little confusing, and I'll be doing a follow-up video going into all of the maths behind this and how it actually works, so subscribe so you don't miss out on that. If you can't wait until I next release the video on the Lucas Lema test, then I would highly recommend checking out brilliant.org as they have a full page explaining this test as well as some extra information about Mersen Primes. For those of you that don't know, brilliant.org is a platform where you learn by doing. They have thousands of courses across a range of different STEM subjects, including mathematics, which is my personal favorite, as well as science, engineering, technology, coding, even AI. Each lesson is filled with hands-on problem solving. Now, this is something that, especially with mathematics and STEM subjects in general, is really, really helpful. It allows you to play with concepts little by little each day. And so you build this foundation of knowledge and further improve your skills. Not to mention that problem solving is actually six times more efficient than simply watching lectures. As a bit of a maths and tech nerd, my favourite course on Brilliant is their course on how large language models work. And if you want to try out this course, as well as everything else that Brilliant has to offer for free for a full 30 days, then visit brilliant.org forward slash Ellie or click in the link in the description and you'll also get 20% off Brilliant's annual premium subscription. So thank you so much to Brilliant for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to the prime numbers. I mentioned the Lucas Lema test, but very interestingly in 2018, 
the Great Internet Mazen Prime Search actually stopped using this method for trying to find new primes. What they've realised is by doing this probabilistic method where they would, you know, every single number they would check using the Lucas Lema test if it is prime, what they decided was to use a different method that might suggest a number is prime and then validating it with the Lucas Lema test. And that's where using Fermat's Little Theorem to test primality comes in. This states that if you have any integer a and you raise it to the power p minus 1, where p is some prime, it will definitely equal 1 mod that prime. So let's say you take a number n, you can try an a here to see if this does indeed hold. And it is typically a really good indicator of whether a number is prime or not. And this is what the Great Internet Mazen Prime Search is using now. Going back to the fact that it took six years for the next largest known prime number to be found, when I first heard this news, I was quite shocked, really. I thought with how rapid technology and AI and everything is advancing at the moment, I thought it would have been sooner. I thought there would have been almost like an exponential increase in the number of primes. Now, obviously, that's from a tech side of things. Obviously, a mathematics side of things, we know that primes become rarer as you increase and the space between them comes larger. So it's much harder to find really, really large primes. But still, six years to me was really shocking. And then I realized that this was actually the first prime number that they'd found using GPUs. The Great Internet Mazen Prime Search was discovered, or it was founded in 1999. And so a lot of the previous known largest prime numbers were discovered through this volunteering collaboration. And it was thanks to Luke Durant who decided that maybe using GPUs would be beneficial. Luke is not only the most prolific contributor to the Great Internet Mazen Prime Search, but they also worked at NVIDIA developing graphics cards. And so they had this fantastic idea of, well, instead of using GPUs, because at the moment GPUs are primarily used in AI and trying to train models and large language models and such like that, I would know with my current job role, but Luke came up with the fantastic idea of leveraging these GPUs for the great internet Mazen Prime Search. And so Luke created these cloud GPUs, which basically spanned over pretty much a large amount of the world. I think it was 17 different countries and over 24 different data centers around the world. This GPU supercomputer ran for about a year before they discovered this brand new prime that we're talking about in today's video. Like I said, it was first discovered in Dublin Island by an NVIDIA A100 GPU, and then it was proven to be primed by an NVIDIA H100 in San Antonio, Texas. So what next? Do you think that it's going to take another six years before we find the next largest known prime number? Do you think it will be discovered using CPUs or GPUs? Let me know in the comments and thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you all in the next one.